Hey everybody! Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. My name is Robin and welcome to our craft studio. I am so happy to be hosting this segment of Craft Around the Clocks uh, down on the farm week and we actually live on a little six acre farm so this is just perfect for us. So when you pop on say hello and let us know you're watching if you haven't watched us before. Phil's kind of tweaking the camera a bit. If you haven't watched us before, let us know where you're where you're watching from. Tell us you're a newbie. Thanks so much for joining us. Again, my name is Robin, and behind the camera and behind the computer is my husband, Bill. You'll hear him from time to time. And if you are watching and there's a red box up here that says live, you're watching us live. We're in real time. If it's not there, you're watching the replay. It's all good. Just comment hashtag replay so we know when you caught us. So I'm going to take just a second and pull this up. You know what? I want to my... try something here okay. real quick. So I'm okay. going to wiggle the camera. Hold on. Okay. Bill's, Bill's a wiggling. Okay. Now do we have audio? We'll find out when I can hear it. Okay, we're we're a hot mess today. So let me see, let me... Awesome, is it working? Yay! Okay, let me pin a comment. And... Boop. And can I get rid of that one? I'm gonna delete that one. I don't know why it keeps coming up. Anyway, okay, let's see. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Bill. Hey, Patty. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you for sprinkling. Awesome. We're getting some hearts, so we must be broadcasting. Living a heartful life. Sue, welcome. You're new. Great. You're going to love Craft Around the Clock. Hi, Liana. Welcome. Okay, Tracy says sound is good. You know our problems that we're working with. Hey, Rebecca, welcome. Newbie from New York. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so we're going to try something. We're going to try something a little different. First, we certainly appreciate it if you like or love our page. Follow our page. We do lives a couple times a week. And when you're not watching Craft Around the Clock, hop on over to our page and see some of our replays. And we would certainly appreciate it if you would sprinkle out our video to your page to uh, craft groups you belong to it helps us it helps facebook help us so thank you so much we do have our stars activated and we thank you for any support that you give us so we're going to do something we are hoping for big numbers we're looking for more viewers on our lives so this is what we're going to do i'm going to set my cute little chicken timer for a couple of minutes and every time it goes off, the last comment that comes up on my screen is going to get their name on a ticket, and it's going to go into a drawing for some happy mail at the end of the live. And then I'll reset the I'll reset the the timer. But we have to have 25 eyeballs or 50 eyeballs, 25 viewers at some point during the live. So share it out, help get those help get those viewers. So what we're going to start putting in names. So let me set the timer and Bill's going to help me with, Bill's going to help me with the name. Okay, let's get to crafting. All that junk is done. Let's see, am I missing any comments? Let me get that comment out of the way. No, Bill, you cannot win. Hey, Shirley, welcome. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for following Living with a faithful life and that is sue welcome anyway okay i'm gonna i, I want to craft but i also want to i want to i want to acknowledge your comments okay we are going to make a little farmhouse wreath sign and we're going to use the dollar tree pizza pan i'm sure you've seen crafts with dollar tree pizza pans they're unending but this one is really cute and it's really farmhouse so this is what it looks like in the store $1.25. 
And so I took one, I got it started. I like to, I like to use the back of it when I do my wreaths. Don't know why. Anyway, so I'm going to be decorating on the back, but I like to finish the backs. So I have already pre-painted this. See here, it's still shiny so that you don't have to watch me paint absolutely everything and watch paint dry. And I have a brand new technique I want to show you too. New to me anyway. Okay. Hey, Jackie, welcome. Yes. When we go on early, you get a better chance of catching us. Okay. Patty says she can't hear us. I just sent it. Okay. I'm not having any problem hearing. So okay. Hopefully. Let us know if, let us know if anybody else is having a problem. We're trying, we're trying new microphone and if, if, if more people are having trouble hearing us, then we need to do something, but okay. On this metal, I'm going to give it a quick sand so that when I paint it, because I'm going to paint it with chalk paint, I want it to get a, a little something. Up. Okay, who was the last comment? Brenda, was it Brenda? Brenda Moon Flinders. Okay, your name goes on a ticket because you were the last comment I saw. Okay, so if we get 25 viewers, we will do a drawing at the end. And I'm going to reset the timer. I'm not going to tell you how many minutes. It's just going to vary. Okay, so I'm going to sand this, just a little sanding block from the Dollar Tree, just in case there's some sort of a finish on this that they maybe try to make it non-stick, because we definitely want that paint to stick. So I'm just going to give it a quick little sand. And again, I'm using on purpose the back of this pizza pan. Let me get in there too. I guess I could do it on both sides of the pizza pan. I could have a reversible, reversible sign. That would be cool. See? So just a quick sand. I kind of scuffed up that surface. Let me put that away and I'm going to get this out, wipe off any of that sanding dust. Now, before I start this, I like to punch holes for the hanger. So I'm going to get out my crocodile. I also have a power punch, but it just doesn't quite get over that lip on this. So I use this and I'm going to figure out I guess I'm going to decide what is the top and I'm going to set it on that one and I'm going to punch two holes kind of close together. And that will be my top. That will be my top and that's where I'll feed through the hanger. So they're like not even a half an inch apart. What is that thing you that have? is a crocodile. Um, yes, Brenda knows what a crocodile is, and she is new to our page, and she loves pizza pan crafts. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad the sound is good, Tracy. I, I needed to hear that from you. Okay, so I'm using chalk paint. This is Waverly brand chalk paint. This is the color steel, so it's not going to be a lot different. But I thought this would kind of look a little bit farmhousey. Hey, everyone needs a crocodile. Yes, yes. But if you don't want the big old crocodile, this is a little miniature version that I sell in my shop, and it works. It works awesome too. Yeah, but would you use it on the? I I I could, but because of that lip, it doesn't it doesn't allow me to get in there. So I had to use the big beast. Okay, let me show you this new trick I learned. Maybe it's not new to you. Instead of brushing this paint on, somebody told me, use a sponge. Use one of those um, fine, fine sponges, not the ones with all the holes in them. So I went to Dollar Tree and I found nail guard sponges. They are just dishwashing sponges. So they've got the, the little green scouring pad but it's got that really smooth sponge it works awesome to paint larger surfaces 
So let me show you. Maybe you already knew that. I wanted to know what the tool is. Do we, I think, you have so many things. You need to come visit us, Jackie. That might be cheaper than postage is an airfare. Although you probably couldn't take anything back. Thank you, Beverly, for sprinkling the joy. Yeah, I'm not sure do we, oh, okay. Okay, I have Brenda Moon again. The more you comment, the better your chances. Great idea, you won't have those brush marks, that's right. Okay, Brenda Moon's in there twice. Let me set it again. Again, if we get, oh, we're at 21. If we get 25 viewers, we will have a drawing from that can at the end. So anyway, let me show you how this works. I'll see. If, okay, you're looking for the Amazon link. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of this on and you just kind of wipe it on. Now this is going to take, this is going to take a couple of coats. And that's okay. But look, I've already, I'm already done. It's, it's got minimal, it doesn't really have brush strokes. It has sponge strokes, I guess. But it, it kind of fits in those corners. Awesome technique. I had never, I don't know why I hadn't thought of it. Of course, it's not going to work on little tiny projects. You'll still want to use a brush. Yeah, you still or, used it when you did the, the. I did it when I used little things on little wooden cutouts. I yeah. used it. You just rub the cutout on the sponge. It does. I will say it, it, it kind of absorbs some of the paint. So you might have a little excess um, paint waste, but just don't, just don't overload it. Okay. So I've got a very thin layer on there, which is good because I want to do several thin layers on metal because I want it to give, get every chance to grab on. So I'm going to give this a quick dry. And I'm using my I'm using my high heat tool because I want this to go fast. Thank you, Tasha, Tisha, Tresha, Tasha. I can't see with beans. Thank you for sprinkling, Tisha. Okay, I you've been on before. I remember you telling us how to pronounce it. From Arizona. Thank you, Tammy. It is a great idea. It it's not original. Somebody else told me you ought to use a sponge. So she actually said use the big old car wash sponges, but I didn't have those. I had these, and they work great. First time, too. Okay. Lots of newbies. We're at 24. If we get... Oh, you're from Idaho? I missed that, I missed that comment. Oh, is it in guides? I believe it's in guides. How long have we been doing lives? We have been doing lives for 13 months, just over a year. Thanks for welcoming our friends, Patty. Patty's a long-term watcher. Newbie, she Sheila, welcome from Missouri. So I'm going to put another thin coat on. Okay, I'm going to put a link in our... Or you can... Okay. I'll put a link in. Link in the... So people can go right to it. Okay, so if you're interested in the Cropodile and you want to order it off of Amazon, they're available in craft stores. But if you want to just sit at home and order it from your pajamas... You can order it from Amazon, and Bill's going to put a link to it in the comments. And, and we are Amazon we, affiliates. We are Amazon affiliates, so we get, if you purchase something with one of our links. Oh, okay, Tammy Cochran. My twin daughters live in Idaho. Okay, so Tammy, you were our commenter, our last commenter. Okay, and 24, Brenda's here from Kansas. Welcome. So what I'm doing is I'm painting up a pizza pan with this fun little method of painting with a sponge. And I'm just using chalk paint. 
Um, Brenda wants to know if your little handheld one is made by Crocodile also? Or no, the little handheld one is um, from Chalk Couture. I sell it in my shop. If you're interested in it, you can type the word uh, shop in the comments. You'll get a link to my shop. It's called a Power Punch. If you don't want to go through that route, just comment. Tell me about the punch. Tell me about the small punch, and I'll send you after the live. I'll send you the details in case you're interested. Okay, so I've got two coats on here. How am I doing on time? I think I'm okay. We have 26 viewers. So we are going to be having a drawing at the end. Okay, girls are in Boise area. Yes, that's, that's a, what, five hours north of us, south of us? We're up, we're up midway in the panhandle. And you're in Nampa. We know where that is. We love Idaho too. Yay, yes. 20, I'm seeing 27, 29, woohoo! Thanks for sharing, because that gets more people watching. And we would certainly appreciate it if you'd, if you'd hang with us for a couple of minutes, and that gives Facebook, that gives us a little more clout on Facebook if our viewers hang on. You can see that Fran says she's wearing ponytails too. Yeah. Well, I'm where, is she? Are you on a farm, Fran? I'm wearing ponytails because this is down on the farm week in uh, Craft Around the Clock. So I am in character and I didn't really want to do my hair this morning. <laughs> so it worked out good. Did you, did you get any eggs this morning? I did. You know what? I don't think I set that timer. Oh, hon. Okay, I'll set it really short. All right. Set it okay. Really short. Okay. You yes, I, I only got one egg this morning. But it's early. Two of them were on the nest. We actually live on a farm. Anastasia, welcome. Are you from Idaho also? White's Creative Designs, welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's so exciting to see so many new people. I hope you'll come back. I hope you'll follow our page and check us out on some of our other videos. Okay. Okay, that's south, south and east, right? Okay, so I painted this with a sponge. The great thing about this is it does wash out. You have to make sure you really get all of that paint out or you will see that color again the next time you use it. But what's even better is it's basically 20 cents from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to show you what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm gonna give this a good dry. And it's honestly, it's not super, super covered, which is okay. We kind of want that little rustic look. You love farm events. Well, every day in our, in our place is a farm event. We, we are not, we're, we're, we're faux farmers. We're hobby farmers, I guess. Um, yes, we, we dabble. So we have like six acres and probably three and a half of them aren't usable because they're uphill oh, there's the timer and i am seeing liana okay whoops i dropped my tickets okay okay and let's set this again let's see who's the next Hi, one Mrs. Claus, is in Mrs. Claus is in the house. Okay, back to drying this. Faux farmers, yes. So anyway, on our little two and a half acres of usable land, we have pretty decent sized vegetable garden that we that we fight with every year. So we've got tomatoes and cucumbers and onions and garlic and peppers and grapes and blackberries and raspberries and squash and Anyway, all the typical stuff. And then we also have, how many do we have? Ten chickens, nine hens, and a rooster. And we raise them for eggs, not for, not for meat. Because we don't want to butcher. I'd rather just gather. 
Oh, yeah. oh the black cats. They're the cute. And they glow in the dark. The eyes glow in the dark. Okay, so I've got this dried, and I'm going to use. I'm going to use a couple of our transfers. Now I did this before on another live, but I, I we didn't have we didn't have 30 people on that live, so this will be new to some of you. We are going to use two different transfers. One of them, this one is called Four Farmhouse Patterns. So this transfer comes with a brick pattern. We're not going to use that. It comes with um, words from like from a dictionary that makes a really cute background. A barn wood, which would be a pro which would be fun, but for this we are going to use. I love this chicken wire, a chicken wire pattern. So these are meant to tile. So if you lay this down, because you're thinking, well, that, that's not very big. If I lay this down and pick it up, this edge matches up to this edge. So I can replace it, and I can I can put this chicken wire in a wide area but these are sticky these are self-adhesive and i'm about to put it down on paint that is that's on a metal surface so that's not the best way to adhere it so i don't want this transfer to pick up that paint when i pick up the transfer so i'm doing two different things oh patty the other patty lost sound oh no is Okay, you haven't done stenciling before. Well, we'll have to change that, Brenda. Yes, Tammy, it, the the sponge does work great. Okay, are you on? Are you helping Patty Bender? Well, Only plant I'm tomatoes sorry. and I'm cherry. Not doing that with sound, okay. Well, are you helping her though? Okay, so so I'm putting fuzz on this or lint. I'm just putting it on a towel to kind of ease up that stickiness. And I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to put a coat of wax on this on this surface so that um, it's a barrier. Okay, Patty got it back. Yeah, okay. okay. Yep. Yeah, they put it on a towel because they want to tone down that stickiness because it will pull up whatever's underneath it because it sticks so hard. So you want it slightly sticky. And we are going to wax this. I'm not going to use my clear wax. I'm going to use my antique wax or my dark wax because I want to give this just up. Oh. Tammy Cochran. Tammy Cochran. I think you're already in there, right? Well, you're in there again. Let me reset the timer. So what I'm doing, if you're, if you're missing it, every couple of minutes i set a timer when the timer goes off because we had more than 25 viewers i'm putting your name the last person who commented on my screen i'm putting your name in for a drawing at the end of the show at the end of the at the end of the show we'll pull a name out and you'll win some happy mail so that's what we're doing okay so i'm going to put wax on this this is dark wax so it's actually going to kind of darken the color you People use it a lot for antiquing furniture, but we're going to use it for this. So I'm going to put some uh, on. Uh, let's see. Brenda asked, is it clear wax? Or are you putting on a, a this, antique? This, I have a clear, I sell a clear wax, which is awesome, but I'm using the dark wax. This I don't sell. This is um, off of Amazon, or it's also available in craft stores. It's just a dark wax or an antique wax, but it's a paste wax. But this is this is a dark color. So it's going to kind of change the color of this and that's okay. And it is still putting the wax on. That wax will be a barrier between the paint and my transfer. Okay. Now I don't want a lot of wax on here because it's too much wax and then my paste that I'm going to put down won't adhere. And that's not good either. So I'm putting, I'm putting a little bit on. Now I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to buff most of this off. But it still has that antique look.
and I have my surface is protected a bit. So between the fuzzing and the wax, we are crossing our fingers so that I don't have any paint issues. And if we do, we're going to call it rustic and we're just going to leave it. Okay, so. Okay, two questions. Yes. Actually, yeah, two questions. Brenda says, do you always wax when you're skimping? I always wax if I'm doing it on a painted surface or a wood surface. I use it on wood because it kind of uh, evens out the grain a little bit. Um, so I don't have, I, my paste doesn't bleed through on those grain lines. So I use it on wood and I use it on painted surfaces. This is, I see somebody asking about this. Hee haw. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Okay, I can't get this on. Okay, this happens to be Howard. Liana again. The more you comment, the better your chances. Uh, okay. The other question was asked um, Do you have a color of that wax and brand? Uh, let me hold on. And I actually think I have this in the guide too. This is, it's just called dark wax. I don't know if it comes in different colors of dark wax. It's dark paste wax, chalk teak, Howard brand. But there's lots of different I brands. Think, I think you got that at, at Joanne's, if I remember right, or, or I, no, I think I ordered this. I think I ordered this Amazon? from Amazon. You know what? I'll go I don't know. Look up that yeah. One too. Anyway, but they, they sell it in craft stores. Um, there's lots of different brands. You're just looking for a paste wax. And if you're wanting the antique, you're wanting it to be a, a dark wax. Okay, so let's get to getting. I've got this waxed and I've got my hole punch up top. I am using the back side of the pizza pan. So it is coming up and I'm taking this. I have fuzzed this and we're going to have to do this a couple different times, but I'm going to get as much of it on here the first time as I can. So I'm going to push that down. And I feel a bump. Okay. And it's, I'll tell you, it's, it's good because it's not, it's not super adhering tight, which is good because I want, I really want to protect that paint. But I have to be careful when I chalk it that I don't move it. So we're going to chalk it with shimmer silver to make that chicken wire. So I am taking my shimmer silver. This is Chalkology paste. I sell this in my shop. And it is chalk in paste form. And this has shimmer. So this has um, mica specks in it. So I'm just taking a squeegee and dragging it over that screen. This is a fine mesh silk screen. Works, works a lot better than your typical stencil, in my opinion. These transfers are meant to be reusable, so you can reuse them. The company guarantees 10 to 12 times, but I personally, if you take good care of yours, wash them up, wash them up right away, you can get 20, 25 uses at least. Okay, two questions. Um, is the wax also used as a sealer? You can. You definitely can. I generally don't, but sometimes I do if I want to give it just a little extra protection. Okay, so I'm going to... That is a chicken wire. That's the idea behind yeah. it. It looks like chicken wire. Because we're, so because we're going to put a... Oh, I didn't set the timer. You need to okay. No. Nah. Okay, so I've got this one little corner done. I'm going to gently peel it up. And I'm going to show you what it looks oh. like. And Liana says, order the shimmer silver. Ooh, yes, yes. So take a look at that. Can you, can you see it? It's, it's not, it's meant to be a very similar color. Kind of meant to be monochromatic, but you can kind of see that. Okay, so I'm going to get this, I'm going to dry this a bit. Because I'm going to lay this back down. I'm going to match up the edges. And I'm going to chalk more across.
And I better get to going because I only have 15 more minutes. We still have to do our drawing. Yes, you are. Okay, so I'm going to move this over and I'm going to match up as best as I can. I'm going to match up those little pokey wires. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. No one, who's going to know? Who's going to know? Okay, so I think that's matched up. I'm going to continue on. Move it over the edge. Oops. Do you think it's hard to match up? Um, it's a little bit harder, I think, because it the colors are so similar i can't see them very well okay so i felt that kind of move but that's okay okay so that matched up maybe not absolutely perfect but it matched up and it looks like all one solid piece so i'm going to dry it again and we're going to go down here with it How long have you been crafting? Crafting? Probably all my life. <laughs> crafting forever. You name it, I have probably tried it or have wanted to try it or have bought the supplies for it. I have been doing this for a year and a half. This with the with the Chop Couture brand stuff. I've been doing that for about a year and a half. Brenda says she couldn't but, do live. I think it was Brenda said she couldn't do live. She'd be too nervous. You know but what you guys don't realize is she was an elementary school teacher for a million years, twenty plus yeah. years, and so you get used to being. You get used to it. It, it was still nerve wracking the first time I did it. I won't. I won't lie, but um, so I'm going to kind of push that down. Okay. I'm trying. I probably should wash this in between. Okay, Brenda again. We have a bunch of top commenters. Tracy says she loves the live dimension. The dimension on the, on the, I think, the dimension on the wire. Okay, so let's finish this up and then we are going to put on our rooster. Tammy, who hasn't? Uh, Brendan, not only do we have previous lives, but we also have a YouTube channel with almost everything we've done on it. So you can look up Raincross Farms Makery on YouTube, and that would be it also. I don't know. Can you, when Bill talks, can you, I met when you did the Facebook lives. Oh, okay. Okay. One more. One more. And this is going to be funky to line up. But we're just going to do it. We're going to pretend. We're going to pretend it's perfect. Okay. Okay. Peel that up. Awesome. A couple little spots missing, but that's okay. It's rustic. And, and I'm rushing, so that's on me. Okay, so now what are you going to put with the... I am, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my rooster right in the middle. You get inspired by watching me. Oh, that's my goal have you, to inspire you to try new things. Have you named this rooster yet? No. You've named all your other roosters. 
You guys have to remind me to set the timer. Okay, so I want to make sure this is really dry because I'm going to put another transfer down on top of it. And so I'm going to put wax, a little, a little layer of wax again over it just to protect this paint. And I'm watching my time. Okay. So. Have we always lived in Idaho? No, no we have lived in Idaho for three years. Okay, just a tad of this. We came from Southern California. We retired from, we were both school teachers. We lived in Southern California, born and raised all our lives. And it came to getting close to retirement. And we thought we can't afford to retire in Southern California. And we wanted to retire. So we ended up, we ended up in Idaho. That's a whole long story. But this is where we are supposed to be. Okay, so I've got that waxed again. And let me show you my big bad rooster. Here, this is my big old transfer, but we're just going to use the rooster. It says, My Roost, My Rules. It's awesome. If you are interested in these transfers, if you comment the word rooster, my bot will send you a link to my chalk shop and I do believe I looked this morning and I believe the four farmhouse tiles is out of stock so if you're really interested in it and want to get it I can put you like on a waiting list and let you know when it comes back in stock okay so same thing with the rooster and I'm going to center him Okay, good. And if you have commented something and you don't and you don't get the link, I will I will come through. You know what? That is crooked because there's my top. I don't want my rooster crooked. Okay, so I'm actually putting him down a little lower. And he's he's having a hard time sticking. I think I have too much wax, but that's okay. You know what? It is. It is. We're only just going to use a piece of it. I think I have too much wax, and that causes me problems with my with my paste. So I'm going to see if I can remove a little bit more of that wax. So if you made a comment that may be too big for a beginner, what do you think? Um, it depends on how brave you are. <laughs> There are some, you, you'd probably want to do paste and peel method, which um, I have some videos in my VIP group on how to do paste and peel. Because by the time, with something this big, by the time you got the top, by the time you got down to the bottom, the top would be dry and then that's going to peel up. So, so there's some things you need to do. And if you're a beginner, you might not know those things. But I would be happy to walk you through it if you're a little concerned, but you want to give it a try. Or you could just do a section of it. So to do this guy, I'm going to get a couple of tools. So while you're doing that, Tammy asked, are the stencils spindy? Um, I, I, I don't know. I can't answer that for you. Um, you can, you're welcome to click on shop and you can go take a look. Um, we have five different size stencils, and they each each one has a different price point. Um, I will tell you, September first, the price is going up on on our stencils. So I am running a sale right now on a, a beat the price increase sale. So if you're interested in that, comment sale. Okay, so I'm going to use my red for his comb. And his wattle. So this I am just using a this is my multi-tool. It gives me just a little skinnier squeegee. So I have a little more control over it. 
And so I'm doing his beak and I'm doing his waddle. And we are going to actually do this in a hot mess technique. So I've got his waddle done. I'm going to clean this off. I'm going to run out of time. Never you fear. We will get this done. Okay, I'm gonna do his, I'm gonna do his little feet in brown, our bark color. Tammy, I think you've commented twice, and so oh. the bot only sends out one. We, um, with, so when you did the rooster, it'll send you the link for that, and then you put sale. So Robin will go back. I'll go back and I'll, yeah, I'll get, get it to you. you. get what you need. Okay, and I think my timer, later. we have time to do one more timer. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to do a little paste and peel. I need to get this up before it dries in the screen because then it will lift up. So I'm going to lift that now and I'm going to give it just a quick dry. And lay it back down. I'm not going to push down there and I'm going to lift up those feet. Now I don't have to worry about those areas. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do hot mess here. On his body, we are going to do, doo -doo -doo, may have bitten off more than I could chew on this project for the time. So I'm gonna take some different colors and that is really not sticking. So I'm just going to put some dabs here and there. You'll see why in a minute. And let's do, we'll do a little red. Okay, give me a name, Bill. Name? The name, last person uh, that commented. I, I, I want to say it was Ava. Eva Payne. Payne? Here. I think that was the one I was thinking of. Here, Ross. write it down. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so I'm... I'm going to use a bunch of colors. Okay. So actually I'm going to put some brown. Okay. So here is some shimmer spruce. We're going to give them a fancy tail with lots of colors. And we're going to use some shimmer harvest. Yeah, hot mess, that's right. Do you have to ink the whole transfer? No. I, I mean, not at one time and not, uh, you can just do parts of it. Okay. So I'm just using a bunch of different colors because I want, because our rooster is very colorful. So I'm just doing dabs of different colors, mostly the color on the tail. And let's do some copper. Okay, I know I'm going kind of and fast on this. I apologize. Tammy, uh -oh. you have time, you're going to see how easy it is to okay. clean this. It cleans up with uh, water. We won't, ha we won't have time. Won't have time? We won't have time. So but, okay, so I have, I have all these little dots of paste. And you know what? I need a few more up here. And so I'm going to meld them together but it's not going to be a solid color it's going to be multiple colors so i'm taking my squeegee and i'm just dragging it across those colors so i'm not mixing them i'm just kind of blending them together i don't think we have time we're going to have to uh, you're going to be out of time. Yep. But I so, the last name. Brenda was the last name. Okay. Went off, so. so let me get this. Let me get this done. I'll peel it off. I'll show you. I'm going to put a bead border around it. So come back and check. And I will post the finished picture of it when I'm completely done. But let me show you this. He's so colorful. Look at my rooster. All those colors. Isn't he awesome? 
Okay, that is it for time. Let's do a quick drawing because we had so many viewers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll finish this up and show you a, a finished photo of it. And our winner is... Tammy Cochran. Woohoo! So I will be reaching out to you and let you know what your prize is. Thank you so much for joining us. Please watch the next crafter on Craft Around the Clock and follow us and see what else we're doing. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.